The Layout Association functionality and Topology Workbench provides direct integration with Clarity 3D Layout, Secrety Power SI, and Secrety Speed EM, enabling automation in the extraction and model generation for blocks and the Topology Workbench topologies that are based on physical layout. After viewing this video, you will be able to Edit the layout block Extract the model using Clarity 3D Layout And, view the S parameter from the interconnect underscore model folder in the installation directory, open the interconnect underscore model .topx file. It has already been opened for you. Double click the layout block to view its properties. Change the block name to PCB. Select Clarity from the extraction engine list. By default, Speed EM is selected. Click load layout file. From the PBA underscore tutorial folder in the installation directory, select the tutorial underscore PCB1.SPD file. Click Setup Layout. In the Choose License window, select the Clarity 3D checkbox. The Layout Workbench window opens with a 2D view of the topology workbench design in the Clarity 3D Layout Full Wave Extraction Workflow. In the Layer Selection pane, Click the Select Components icon to display the components in the PCB design. Choose Show Hooked Ports from the View, Show, Menu option to see the port locations for the S parameters. All the defined ports on the PCB are shown here. Choose File, Exit to close the Clarity window. Click Extract in the Edit Properties panel. The model extraction process starts, and the progress can be seen in the status bar. After the process completes, a 39-port BNP file that has the S parameter data in Segrity compact binary format, and a circuit file with a SPICE netlist that calls this S parameter with the defined connection syntax are generated. Now, click View S parameter. The simulation results open in the SSI viewer window, as shown here. You can also assign the IBIS models to the controller and memory blocks. To do so, select any of the two blocks and click Load IBIS. For this demo, select the controller block. Click Load IBIS. Browse to the IBIS file as per the requirement of your design. Now, let's make the connections and generate a 2D curves waveform. To connect the controller block to the PCB block, join the rounded ends of the controller and the PCB block by clicking on them one by one. A connection is established between the two ports and the Connection Definition panel opens. Click Auto Connect. Select Net Match in the Auto Connection dialog box. Enter DDR underscore MDQ in the left net box. Enter DQ in the right net box. The Connection Definition panel shows the established connections. Now, right-click on the highlighted unconnected pins and connect them by choosing Connect. The block diagram is updated and now shows a valid connection between the controller and PCB blocks. Similarly, you can connect the memory and VRM blocks to the PCB layout. Once the connections have been made, click the Start Simulation icon. Click No in the warning message box that is displayed. This warning can be ignored because you had set the specifications to default in the Timing Budget panel. If required, you can change the specifications as per the requirement of your design. The 2D Curves waveform gets generated on successful completion of the simulation run. Let's quickly go through the points covered in the video. You can do the following to see how the extracted model file is integrated with parallel bus analysis. Edit the layout block. Extract the model using Clarity 3D layout. And, view the S parameter of the layout block. Thanks for watching the video.